20 years in prison is a sentence for a Coal Valley man in connection with a deadly robbery two years ago in Davenport. That punishment handed down to 34-year-old Cordell McDowell. Three of his relatives were in the courtroom with him. He was sentenced to 10 years for each of the charges. Those sentences will be served consecutively. He made a plea deal to avoid a trial on first-degree murder. McDowell instead pleaded guilty to lesser charges of willful injury resulting in serious injury and conspiracy to commit a forcible felony. Local 4 crime reporter Linda Cook joins us live in the newsroom after being in court today. Linda, how did today's sentencing hearing play out? Well, Jim, McDowell was accompanied by an attorney who said McDowell had a rocky childhood. The judge told McDowell he's losing a lot of years and he needs to be a productive member of society. McDowell sounded remorseful and said he'd like to change. One of McDowell's family members said, I love you, as he was led out of the courtroom. Linda, what went down two years ago at the time of the crime? It happened early in the morning on August 22nd, 2020, near the intersection of North Harrison Street and West 65th Street. Davenport police responded to an apartment there where they found 45-year-old Sylvester Eddings Jr. of Moline. They say he was shot once just below his collarbone. He was transported to Genesis East where he was pronounced dead. So is McDowell the only person prosecutors say is involved in this? No. Demarcus Liddell of Cole Valley, Derek Hargret of Rockford, and Tanisha Coleman of Davenport also face charges in this case. We will continue to be in the court as the cases progress. Live in the newsroom, I'm Linda Cook, Local 4 News. Linda, thank you.